I had a discussion with a course mate. We decided to meet the following morning to do some revision. I will refer to myself as player one and my course mate as player two. Each player can take only one set of notes to the library. Neither player can communicate their choice as imperfect information is assumed. Hence, we are looking at a simultaneous game. Both players study two of the same modules, one of which is relatively harder and requires both players to bring the hard notes, providing a payoff of three. If only one player brings the hard notes, then that player will be unable to do any work at all, providing a payoff of zero. If either player brings their easy notes, they can study independently regardless of the other player's action, providing a payoff of two. This game is commonly known as a stag hunt game. To find the pure strategy Nash Equilibria, we use the best response method. We see that if player one chooses hard, then player two should choose hard, and if player one chooses easy, then player two should also choose easy. Because of symmetry, we can apply the same logic to player one's best response. We highlight two pure strategy Nash Equilibria. The payoff hard hard is the payoff dominant Nash Equilibrium, as it has a better payoff than the alternative Nash Equilibrium, easy easy, for both players. This is our first optimal solution. To identify the risk dominant Nash Equilibrium, we calculate the Nash product for each equilibrium, which is the product of the opportunity cost of unilaterally deviating for each player. We can deduce the outcome easy easy is our risk dominant Nash equilibrium as it has a higher Nash product than the alternative hard hard. As such, it is our second optimal solution. If the risk dominant strategy is chosen over the payoff dominant strategy, we say that coordination failure has occurred. For every game, there is always at least one mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, whereby we assign a probability distribution over the pure strategies. Due to time constraints, we use a quick method, assuming risk neutrality for both players. To find the probability of Q that makes player one indifferent between choosing hard and easy, we equate their expected utilities, resolving to find that Q is equal to two over three, and through symmetry, that P is also two over three. In this non-repeated game, both players should choose to take their hard notes with them at a probability of two over three. From the previous slide, the best response graph has been created, where BR1 represents player 1's best response as a function of the probability that player 2 chooses hard. BR2 has been created similarly. The three points where BR1 and BR2 intercept identify the three Nash equilibria. From this game, we have learned that there can be more than one optimal solution. All three of the solutions found are appropriate and Nash equilibria. When this game was played in real life, both players actually chose hard rather than easy, as they both wanted to maximise their payoff.